Good morning, St. Thomas More. Today is Thursday, and I thought I'd throw a new effect on, you know, jazz it up a little. Hey, speaking of jazzing it up, did you watch the American presidential inauguration yesterday? I did, and wow, it was beautiful. You know, we Canadians, we, we do share a lot with Americans, and, and I think we get caught watching American politics sometimes as though we were watching a train wreck. And then there are other times where I believe we celebrate with them. And yesterday could have been and was one of those times with the inauguration of the president, um, Mr. Joe Biden. But what stole the show were the women. You know, Kamala Harris, the first female to ever take office as vice president. The first African-American, Asian person, let alone female to ever take that spot. She is going to do amazing things and she's already inspired so many young women into believing in themselves and what they can do. And then let's fast forward to Miss Amanda Gorman, who was the youngest poet to ever be asked to speak and recite at an inauguration. And she stole the show, ladies and gentlemen. There were... There were verses in her poem that apply to all of us, and I want to read a couple to you because it sums up what we are doing here, what we are doing all over the world, and I want you to know that we are united, not only as an STM community, but as, as a world of human beings. So never lose faith. Amanda Gorman said that even as we grieved, we grew, that even as we hurt, we hoped that even as we tired, we tried. Never give up, St. Thomas More. 